This nonsense doesn't end until you put a foot down and say, no, I won't do business with you based on the fact that you say you are X, Y, or Z. I refuse to do business with businesses that are identity owned publicly. What is identity owned? If you ever go to Google Maps and you pull up a business and you see that they've tagged their business with a bunch of labels, identifies as black owned, identifies as woman owned, identifies as LGBTQ plus owned. If you see these labels, these businesses are seeking special attention because their ownership has a certain immutable identity. Just because the owner of a business is a certain skin color, race, gender, sexual orientation, etc., doesn't mean that you should do business with them. By posting this, however, they're playing into identity politics in general and attempting to use it to gain business. These businesses who are assigning these special tags to themselves are seeking to gain more business than other businesses in their same field, not based on merit, not based on what they provide, not based on the customer service that they offer, but instead on the fact that the people running it are a member of a certain group. They haven't earned it, they just are it. And you should do business with them because they are it? I don't think so. If someone goes out of their way to slap these labels, you must take a stand by saying no. Let the businesses know that this label-based identity politics nonsense is a good way to chase you off rather than to bring you in. This is how the culture war is won by lunatics. When they put these labels out there, when Google, the largest search engine on the planet, the most heavily trafficked website on the planet, lets people attempt to garner favor based on immutable personal characteristics rather than merit, rather than service offerings, rather than the way that they treat you. All they do is put it out there and if you don't say anything, if you don't do anything, they win by default. This nonsense doesn't end until you put a foot down and say, no, I won't do business with you based on the fact that you say you are X, Y, or Z. Now, what is the net effect of this? If your business identifies as black owned, people will not do business with you because you identify as black owned. That sounds bad. That's how you would spin it if you are one of the lunatics that pushes this nonsense. But take the reverse. You don't do business with someone because the business is white owned. You don't do business with someone because the business is male owned. You don't do business with someone because the business is straight owned. All of these things are isms, racism, sexism, etc. The difference is when you provide identification labels for every category except for straight, white, and male, it's pretty easy to do the math here. You have a set that has a bunch of different points and you take one point from every little set and just don't say it, that's exclusion. Why is it that a business can't pick identifies as white owned or male owned? And you can dig very deeply into the rationale that they attempt to put behind that, but the bottom line is that by putting out a label saying identifies as black owned, identifies as woman owned, etc., they're trying to get people to preferentially give more business to those people. This is a zero-sum game, make no mistake. When you need to go out and you need to purchase plumbing services, for example, or you need to go get gas, you only go get that service or that gas that one time. You might do it again some point down the line, but this time you do it once and that transaction's over. And you have a choice who you do this business with. Who do you do the business with? Well, by default, you would just go with whoever someone says is good. Hey, who do you recommend? Who's given you good service? Where, where has the best price? Where has the best products? That would normally be the basis that you would pick a business upon. But now, Google is trying to get you, and other places as well, are trying to get you to do that business not based on whether the business is good so much as whether the business is owned by a person of a certain race, to the exclusion of straight, white, and male 
in general. Oh, and Asian as well, because they are, what's the terminology for it? it it's something really obnoxious, but it's like, it's like they're complimentary whites. If you want things to go back to selecting businesses based on merit, based on providing good services, based on providing good customer service, a good experience, good products, things you want, doing what you want as a consumer rather than a white, black, brown, or fuchsia person, then you have to resist this. You have to let them know you tried to garner favor in this way that is not appropriate. I will not do business with you. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Go to JodyBruchon.com for links to support me. Go and be not racist by saying no to this racism. Take care. really obnoxious, but it's like, it's like they're complimentary whites. So Asian don't matter. You motherfucker.